So here we are, Christopher, and whoever is watching this video, and Ahmed, here we are. We're looking at what we're supposed to be um, doing. Um, this is a CVS file. And this is, these are the, um, uh, the sections. This is actually um, the file that's going to be imported into the NWEA map test platform. Now, as you can see, um, we have a unique name for our school. Okay. So in this case, it is Al Damam because I'm in Damam right now. But if it is, um, if it is for the, um, the boys in Riyadh, it would be Al Fursan International School. If it's for the boys for Riyadh, it will be Al Fursan International School boys section. Make sure you get that apostrophe the way it's supposed to. If you make a mistake, this is a very look look at me. I put a mistake there. Okay, so you see this is this name is for the school in Riyadh, the boy section. And if it is for the girl section, you would put Al Fursan girl section. Okay? That would be for the girls. But make sure the apostrophe is after the S, the girls, and then make sure you don't make any capitalization. So you see here, this would be the name. This would be the name for the girls section in Riyadh. But now we're in the mom. So I'm going to erase this. So please, please make sure you pay attention to the name of the school. If you are in the boys section in Riyadh, you will put the green one. If you are in the girls section in Riyadh, you will put the orange one. But if you are in the mom, regardless of whether it's boys or girls, you're going to put this one. Okay? There's no girls and boys in the mom. It's not separate like that. Okay, so now I'm going to continue and I'm going to fix this. Okay, now, as you can see, school state, not necessary. You could leave it blank. Previous instructor ID, you can leave it blank. Now, instructor ID. Now, this is how I name my instructors. For example, right now, what am I doing? I'm actually, um, I'm going to import, I'm going to import uh, the, um, the grade four, exactly. But I can't find it. I'm going round and round. I'm making myself dizzy. Hold on, let me open my Excel again. Sorry about that. And here I am. So I think I'm going to be able to just right click here and find a grade four boys. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm going to close this out because it's confusing. And I'm going to close this out because it's confusing. So this is where my information is coming from. This is grade four boys, okay? So you see here, this is the class name. You see, it's 19 F I S R. Now, I have no idea why it's F-I-S-R. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Because Right, right. This is the code of the class, okay? It shouldn't say R, Riyadh. It should ha have a D. That's what confuse, what's confusing, but this is the class list that Mr. Lewis gave me. So I will copy that, and then I will go here, and I will put it in the class, in the class name. So the class name here is right there. This is the class name, okay? It is 19 FISRES for elementary school, grade 4P. So since it's grade 4P, the instructor, this is how I would do the instructor name. I would put 4P here, okay, to show that this teacher is in charge of 4P. Then I would put 19 for from 2019 to 2020 and then here I would put a 6 for boys and that would be my instructor's ID number for this class and I would just just be careful though copy the cells so they are all the same because you're gonna get an error okay now um, now I need an email for this instructor I don't have one the username and the email has to be the same so please that's why I have them both read make sure username and email address are the same okay if the teacher doesn't have if the teacher doesn't have the um, the school or the company email that's fine 
we could just do it we could just do it uh, with the personal one okay now the make sure whatever is in orange you have to fill it out you cannot leave it blank so this email address also has to be filled out remember the email address is the same thing as a username okay now here this is the student ID this is probably the most important thing voila because you have to pay close attention that the student IDs are aligned with the names because if you mix up the student IDs with the names, that means the whole history of the child will be transferred from another child. Please, I'm begging you, I'm imploring you, pay very close attention to the student ID. So here, that's why first I'm going to take the, the name, the first name, okay? I'm going to copy it. Okay. Now, you cannot have mixed, um, so I took the first name, and I'm going to delete these ones here, which were in the uh, sample, okay? I'm going to open it up so we can see what's going on. I deleted the student first names. I'm also going to highlight this to show you that you have to fill this out, and then I'm going, you see, I'm starting all the way in the top, and I'm going to paste. Oops, it's not pasting. I'm going to try it again. Let's try it again. Nope. Let me, I, maybe I didn't copy it. It's okay. I'm going to make sure Sultan till Ryan. And there we go. Okay. So these, now this starts with Sultan and ends with Ryan. I'm going to check again. Sultan with Ryan. Good. How many students do we have? 23. Perfect. So now we have a problem here. You, do you see what the problem is here? We have mixed. Some kids are um, all uppercase. We can't have this. Ibrahim, we will get an error from this. We have to put Ibrahim the way it's supposed to be. The first letter is capital, the next one. So you have to make sure. Nawaf, another problem. N-A-W-A-F, the, um, uh, the first letter has to be capitalized. And here, Mishari, M-I-S-H-R-I. Okay, you see that? And what else is a problem? Everything else looks good except for Saud. We're going to fix this. And Ryan, we have to fix this also. Do we have any other cuckoos here? No, it's okay. It looks good now. Okay? Then, uh, ignore it. So here, the orange one, remember, you have to fill out. This looks really good now. Okay, now we have to go for student last name. Okay, the student last name, I'm going to take it again from here. They have a middle name and they have a last name. I'm going to take the last name, okay, here. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to paste it correctly so we don't have problems. Now I'm going to delete this. Up, oh, it's not pasting again. Let me paste, let me copy it again. Okay, it looks like it copied it this time. Voila, finished with the last names. But we have, oops, you see, very careful. Everything has to be aligned. So it's gonna, it has to be, the same. Sultan has to be al fahmi Now here we have a problem, you see. It's going to throw an exception. It has to look, it has to be capital and then everything else is lowercase. You have to make sure this one, al asmi And here, al abdulal And here, Albishi. It has to be first letter, uppercase, the remaining has to be lowercase. Do we have any other? Oh, this one. Al, is this Al Jasim, right? So we have to fix this too. Al Jasim. There we go. And then, what else? Um, right, we shouldn't have spaces in between, okay? It should be one. No spaces or a dash. A dash is okay, but no spaces. I think this looks good now. I'm going to check it again. So Albishi is aligned with Ryan, and then Al Fahmi is aligned with 
Sultan. So we're good. It looks like it's good. Okay. Okay. So remember the orange ones is what you have to fill out. And the middle one here, you see the middle one, we're going to put the middle one too, because we need, it says initials. Okay. A middle initial. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to leave it blank and I'm just going to add the middle names into the, okay. The middle names here, I'm going to add them one by one. I don't know. Uh, because many, many kids, right, um, are, they're going to have the same name. So yeah, let's take this and put it, unfortunately, one by one here. Cancel. So here, up. Let's see. It's throwing, it's not letting me copy. Wait. It's acting a bit crazy. I have no idea why. Okay, so here, there we go. And that's how we're going to do it. We're, we're going to take them one by one. I know it's time consuming. Please have people help you, okay? And I'm talking to Ahmed too because Ahmed doesn't have a lot of help here. You can get some teachers to do this also. You can train three, four teachers to do it with you, okay? Don't sit and wait and, you know, kill yourself. Try to get some teachers to help you. I'm going to tell Mr. Lewis also that he, some they have to help you. And also to watch this video. Since you have a video and I'm going to send it to you, So here, bah. so you got the picture, okay? Let me see, Al-Yami is, Al-Yami is Fahad, okay? So I have to do this, Fahad. Okay, so once you do that, make sure, now some people, okay, student aid, date of birth. There are some schools, like for example, the, um, um, you have to have this. Some schools have a date of birth. Here in Daman, you guys don't have a date of birth. So you will have to put in a fake date of birth if you don't have a date of birth, okay? That's what I did in my other school where I was the academic director again. I put in a fake uh, date of birth, okay? So here, what grade was this? Um, okay, so if the kid is in fourth grade, fourth grade, that means that that kid is... Um, eight years old, which means eight years ago. So this child was born in eight minus 19 in 2011 or 2011 or 2012. So you can actually use this. You can actually copy paste and just, unfortunately, that's how we have to do it. Okay. Some will be, okay, make sure it's the same, make sure it's the same amount of kids and the same amount. Now, Asian, now, student grade is not grade one here, it's grade four, okay? So here, you're going to put it all the way down like that. There we go. And I'm going to center it so it's obvious that it's grade four, and I'm going to make it orange to remind you that you have to fill this out. And then Asian, everybody's Asian here, okay? Um, it doesn't matter. Just put Asian for everybody so you finish quickly. We don't have time to figure out everybody's ethnicity, okay? I'll be Asian too, no problem, I don't care. And what's, it's great being Asian, what's wrong with that? Okay, so I'm going to also copy and put it here. Okay, and I don't know why it's, okay. All right, so we pretty much finished everything Okay, so you see, make sure you have the school name in here. Make sure you have the instructor ID. Remember what I told you. If the, the class is 4P, then you can say 4P. The year of our school year is 1920. And then if because it's a male teacher, it's a 6. If it's a female, it's a 5. So we know that, okay, this is male side because everything is 6. Okay? And then here... 
Um, the class name we get it from the um, from the class list that now student ID I think we have to we have to put in it's also very I mean all schools have student IDs now including the mom it's just that it's missing from this list here you see this list it's incomplete but there are student IDs in my list, okay, if I show you, and I know that uh, Christopher's watching too, we all know that there are student IDs. So Mr. Lewis will provide you with a student ID. I will talk to him now, and he will. we will put them in. And then the first name and the last name. Now, the last name will also include the middle name. You have to, because otherwise people with the same names will clash, okay? More than one person will come, and it will be hysteria. And sorry about that. Uh, middle initial, no need. Student date of birth, if you don't have one, you can make one up. Student grade, you can put in the grade. And everybody's Asian. So everybody's Asian. The student grade, you have to put it in. The date of birth, you make one up if you don't have one. Student first name is okay. Student last name will include the middle name. And then the student ID is also very important, but we don't have one right now. It has to come directly from al Madrasati and the class name. And the, now remember, the teachers, this is the teacher's email address, okay? The teacher's email address is the same thing as the username, okay? And, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. This is the teacher's. It's the username, okay? We have the instructor's last name, the instructor's first name. We have the instructor's email address as a username and the instructor email address. This is all instructor, okay? So um, actually I'm going to put it green so you remember that this is instructor. So this is the instructor's first name, last name. This is the instructor's email address, again the green one. And this again is the instructor's email address. And basically I'm going to stop the um, video now because this is too long. Okay, and um, and then I'm going to make another one on how to import it. I'm going to make another video on how to import it. So I'm going to.